Welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see from the title, I'll be exposing myself. There is something about me that I need to share with you all. Now granted, I think I'm going to get a lot of natural hair Nazis like upset with this video. But such is life, you know, such is life. So let's just jump right into the video. Alright guys, so today I'm going to expose myself. Alright, so back in June, I did a keratin treatment and then I did a silk press on my hair and I showed you all that my hair reverted. I did tell you all that um, it was a bit looser than usual, but that would be due to the fact that I did not leave the keratin treatment in the amount of time I was supposed to be in for. It was in for four to six weeks, just wash that out in three weeks and yeah. So I showed you all um, how my hair looked and all of that and um i spoke to you all about the process and all of that right so fast forward basically five months later june july August, yeah fast forward five months later sis has he damage <laughs> sis has he damage it happens to all of us no worries but the thing with my he damage is that my he damage is catfish on a thousand percent because if you look at my hair, you would never think or never know that I have any type of heat damage going on in my hair. You have to like really pay close attention to the ends of my hair to really see what is going on now, boy. And even then, it's kind of hard to realize because everybody just blends so nicely. Now, what I would say is that I honestly think if I did not do the keratin treatment before I did the silk press, my hair would have been point blank straight. Like, my heat damage would have been way worse. So I honestly think that doing the keratin treatment before the silk press helped my hair out a lot. I, I mean like, a lot. To the point where my hair could like blend easily. And nobody would really know. Like, my hair is being puffs. My hair is being twist out. My hair is being twist. And nobody never really knew. I mean, if you're close to me and I spoke to you about it, I knew. But like, the naked eye did not know. Because, like, up to your day, I told like two people, and they was like, What? But your hair don't look so. It's like, Yes, I know, I know. I know. So, let me let you all meet Gabby from the past. Um, and she'll show you all some stuff, and then we'll come back and wrap up this video. Alright, y'all. So, as y'all would have seen from Gabby from the future, um, here I am, you know, let me show you what's going on. So this is my hair Dry, right? So it looks real normal like Okay, yeah, great hair and thing, you know, everything looks to be, you know Norms and thing. There's the back of it There's the back of it Everything seems to be, you know, normal, normal Right now, let me show you what happens when water hits my hair. Back of my hair, I said I'll show you in a section. Basically, this is it. And I'm going to put some water on it. So this is to the water in it and as you could see to the back here here it's starting to look a little crazy here it still kind of looks normal this is where we're gonna out ourselves shall we so i'm gonna take some gel this is the extreme gel and i'm going to put it on this section and we're gonna see how my hair is catfish everybody Taking a bit more, and it's now you will kind of see it for what my hair really is. Can you see that? Okay, 
So you're seeing that there now. Can you? I hope you all can. Right, okay, so as you all could see from like here, so good on all that is heat damage. So that's like about okay, so from here, go down, is heat damage. You can see that? Yes, you can see it. But from here, come to about there, is my natural texture. When this dries and shrinks up, it goes right back to like if I had my natural texture here because it shrinks all the way up and everybody blends if that makes sense but since i've heat damage okay a good three inches i heat damage um on my hair so i'm gonna demonstrate once again but on like a piece in the front so the front of my hair here take some water spray 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 take some gel Putting it on my hair. And look, you can see it even better here. Like, heat damage at its best. This is my natural texture. This is not. As we could see clearly. Cha ching, cha ching. However, when my hair dries and shrinks back up, all these kind of straight ends and things does end up curling a little bit and shrink right up to the top like if nothing ever happened. Like, and everything just looks normal now, boy. So people honestly can't tell that I have heat damage, but as you all could have seen from just now there, sis has heat damage. See? Snip right there. whoops. So you see, when it rolls back up, everything just looks like if they all belong together. Y'all, I told you my hair is catfish central, even in the back. Watch. The back roll up. And this ain't done yet, eh? This go in and go a little bit more. Told y'all my hair is catfish central. I told y'all. I told y'all. So yes, yeah, sis out herself. So, Back to future Gabby. All right, guys. So as you all could have seen, sis hair just does the most. Like I'm super grateful, though, that my heat damage is like this, and it is very easy to deal with and easy to blend because it just blends so seamlessly with my hair, which is mind blowing to me. Um. So yeah, you all. I expose myself to that heat damage, but. This hair still looks nice and healthy and I also would like to attribute that to the fact that I do protein treatments every week so every day on my watch day I do a protein treatment with the CAD for protein spritz I spray it in my hair well rice water spritz I spray it in my hair leave it for half an hour and then wash it out and then I deep condition weekly as usual the only thing I changed up since realizing that I got heat damage was that I do that protein treatment every week on watch day and this has been good to go, you know? So all of that maintenance as well has helped my hair in looking the best that it can be while basically heat damage on the low. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Let's start a cute little conversation and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.